This is Justin Troop with The Endless Weekend. We're here today with someone I really admire, which is Rick Ingersoll. From the, he's the editor of the Frugal Travel Guy. His website teaches people to hack the credit card system and earn massive amounts of miles. So I wanted to start by thanking you for talking to me and um, let you know that I earned about 800,000 miles the first three months of this year uh, by listening to your advice. So thank you very much for that. Glad to help. Um, now... For people who've never heard of the Frugal Travel Guy, can you give us a quick explanation of what your website is? Well, I'm a, kind of a travel fanatic. I got involved with the Flyer Talk community and online searching for travel deals about 11 years ago. Became, you know, the local neighborhood expert. Um, everybody was asking me how to get here, how to get there. I took a lot of people on the state fairs and uh, cheap trips with fair wars and things like that. And uh, one day I happened to see an article in uh, the USA Today about a lady that started blogging about recipes. And I said, you know, this is the way for me to share the information. So I set up the website on Blogger, which was a bit of a mistake. I wish I'd used another platform. Um, and started, and I then I started August, or excuse me, October 27th, uh, four years ago and uh, have about 1,800 and some posts right now. We're just trying to help people see the world at prices they can afford. 1,800 posts is pretty massive. Do you, do you guys have any idea what kind of traffic your site gets now after, after the last few years? Oh, it's uh, the, the number of page views is in the millions. We're anywhere between six and 8,000 page views a day, typically. Very impressive. Um, so, have you gotten a lot of success stories from, from like myself, from, uh, from other people that have followed you, that have earned a lot of miles also? Oh, we sure have. As a matter of fact, Justin, every, um, every Sunday we run success stories where the readers, uh, send in what's happened and the things that they've been able to do. It really is heartwarming to see the successes that they've had. I think you've really made a neat difference for uh, for the world. I'm sure there's a lot of people traveling um, that couldn't have afforded to go without some of your advice. Yeah, they just they just never think about it. They think that oh, uh, frequent fly flyer miles are too difficult, or it's too good to be true. Uh, you know, there's all of us that play in this travel hacking game are amazed at the fact that 99 percent of the people that you talk to just don't get it. Um, I did a I did a uh, piece this last week for ABC Nightline. They did a segment uh, on me and the Chicago seminars that we do. And you know, four or five million people saw that episode. But the, the number of people that actually went back and looked at the website um, minuscule compared to the number of looked at it. And it's there for the Do you have any idea how many miles you've um, managed to acquire since you started this? How many have you earned? Well, that would be tough over the last 11 years. Um, uh, it's, uh, it, it may be 10 million. Um, one, two, three, four. It's, it's got to be somewhere between 5 and 10 million. Yeah, I mean, that we sounds... Two million, between my wife and I right now, we've got two million of unused miles and points. I mean, just to... We've been around the world. Go ahead, I'm sorry. I was going to say, just to equate that into, um, into airline tickets for somebody, you can probably get between two to four airline tickets depending on where you're going for 100,000 miles. So a couple million miles is easily maybe uh, you know, 20 to 80 airline tickets. Yeah, if you look at the domestic ticket, it's typically 25,000 miles. Uh, when we go international uh, long haul across the Atlantic or Pacific, we use business class. Uh, those are 100 to 120,000 miles. Uh, the best redemptions we ever used were the one world, round the world uh, redemptions. It was 190,000 miles in business class to fly up to 35,000 flight miles, so uh, it's, it's not all that expensive as far as the number of miles. Awesome. 
Um, several times I've tried to explain kind of what you do to people and uh, how I earn those miles. And I think the biggest thing that that uh, reaction I get from people is that they're afraid that they'll ruin their credit score. What what's been your experience with with um, with this? Have you how's your credit score doing? Well, my my credit score is uh, excellent. I have over a uh, hundred uh, accounts listed on my report on my credit report. Of course, they're not all open. I close some of them. I owned a mortgage banking company in the first half of my life, so I got a pretty good understanding of what credit is about. I did some credit counseling for the local Veterans Administration and a couple people in, in my hometown. Uh, uh, credit hit on your, on your credit score is two to five points pretty typically. Okay, so it's not, not necessarily the end of the world. I think that it may have been on your site also. I found that um, the most, if I, if, I, if I got this correct, the most they can drop your score for opening new accounts is 10%, and that would be if you went absolutely crazy. Is, is that correct? Uh, I can't verify that. Okay, all right. I mean, I went at, at one point uh, several years ago when we had uh, interest rate arbitrage, where we were doing zero balance transfers without any fees. My wife and I applied for like 30 cards in, uh, in a day and uh, went from the mid-7s to mid-600. So I wouldn't say... You wouldn't say there's a max. Numbers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put a number on it and say 10% is a max. Okay. But for the... But, but those, those inquiries all fall under your report in two years. Right. So it, it's not it's nothing permanent. In a lot of cases, it's less than people would think. If um, thir not too many people are going to open thirty cards in one day for sure. No, no, not at all. And um, so, how do you decide which cards are uh, are worth getting for you? Do you have sort of a magic number, or? Um, well, I've had so many, Justin. I'm so I'm limited sometimes. Okay, and. Because I've had almost all the cards, but we're in a position now where the marketplace says you can typically only get one sign-up bonus per card type. So if you get a, uh, a Chase Bank issued United Airlines Visa Mileage Plus signature card, you're going to get that bonus one time. What happens is these card issuers are constantly coming out with new product. The, the new card replacing that one I just mentioned is the uh, United um, Explorer card. So I can get another bonus because there's a new type. It's, it's typically one bonus per card type. And the, the things that I look at are what is the amount of the bonus, what is the minimum spend required to get the bonus and the time frame? And is there any annual fee for applying for that card? Those are three the three variables for me that I'm looking at. Okay. And um, it seems like from following your site that you try to, for the most part, stick to cards that are giving you 50,000 miles and up. And I, I see you occasionally will go with something a little bit less than that, maybe because it's a card you've never gotten before. Um, do you think that's a good kind of a target for somebody that, for instance, is kind of wide open on how many, like maybe they've never really opened up a lot of cards, so they're kind of eligible for all of them. Do you think 50,000 is kind of a good target or above that for people? Yeah, I think 50,000 is a good benchmark right now. Two years ago, it was 25,000. Um, that was the average offer. Right now, their their credit card companies are really looking for customers and uh, willing to pay higher bonuses. So most of the ones that I'm doing now are uh, forty, fifty thousand miles or points, right? Okay. And um, I got another question. How how has doing all of this impacted your life? I mean. It's got to, uh, or 10 mil spending 10 million miles is not a, or even 5 million miles is uh, it's a pretty big deal. Well, and we don't use them all ourselves, Justin. We, between Katie and I, we have four kids. Um, so, you know, we take care of their honeymoons and vacations and, and uh, auditions or interviews the, in, in their lifetime. We give some of the miles away to friends, take people on vacations with us. Um, 
you know, like I said, we got a couple million in the stash right now, but uh, we never are at a loss for how we're going to go on our next vacation. That's awesome. And we, we try and go at least once a month. <laughs> That's a great goal. Um, do you know how many countries you guys have been to, by any chance? Uh, 63 was the latest count. We're going to add Trinidad, Tobago in January. I'll make it 64. I think you guys are going to love that. I, uh, I spent six years living in the Caribbean on different islands, and I uh, really love it down there.